But anyways, we're going to be checking out something. Um, we're going to be doing a reaction right off the get. Um, we're doing actually two reactions. We're doing this to a video that I heard that was apparently good was recommended from somebody in, in the um, from my comments. And I'm also found something of my own that I want to check out. I don't know if it's going to be good or not or whatever, or crazy, whatever. You guys know the vibes. I'll obviously shut bullshit down, whatever, if I need to. Or if I'm hearing someone spit, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, you know, I'll kind of add on further to it, whatever. Or if it's even contentious, and obviously I'll advocate for both sides. Uh, but we're going to be checking out this video. This is by a YouTuber called Just Pearly Thing. She's actually really interesting. I'm going to be honest. So far from what I've seen and heard, I, it's nothing that's really offended me there's really nothing that like i've thought it's a really serious problem about not um i've heard plenty of good things about this person plenty of pros somebody uh you know recommended her as well um, um i have heard some cons to where like apparently she got like banned from tiktok or you know she's also like always gets like demonetized or really really f fucked with when it comes to youtube for whatever weird reason i don't know but um but then again, I'm going to be real, that's just society, guys. The way the world works and the way it's it's construed and, and built upon, you name it. Unfortunately, you know, if you're spitting facts or you're talking about re real life and just being real and just saying what needs to be said and saying the truth and showing evidence, you name it, etc. A lot of people don't like the truth. A lot of people don't like to hear the truth, you know what I mean? And the, it, it, it will immediately, um, you know, make them go into either victim mode or go into, you know, defensive mode or, you know, be easily offended whatever the case may be you name it you know how the vibes go you know or for somebody to some way some somehow some way try to make it a crime when it's not you know freedom of speech you know you name it etc um so like it's it's a whole shit show when it comes to these type of things but then again that's one of like the sacrifices you're kind of making when you want to do a podcast and be in other platforms youtube whatever you name it etc etc whatever you're doing because you know unfortunately you could just speak your mind or give your subject subjective views or whatever etc and some people can deem it as to being discriminating or hateful or whatever you know and instead of analyzing any of the context or just understanding what they're even referring and talking about and why it would make sense to even understand and what they're basically you know advocating for you know but it's that's just not how it goes there's a lot of weirdos out there there's a lot of people that are just i don't know like you know just really weird about it so you know, so if that's the case, then that's probably why she's dealing with the shit she's dealing with, and it's just bullshit, it's unfair, it's, there's no justice, there's no equity, and it's just nonsense. While you have plenty and plenty of other people that, you know, are not getting either demonetized or not getting banned or whatever the case, and they're doing shit that are, that is actually really fucked up, you know? So, um, but either way, we're gonna get into it, we're gonna see what's going on, we're gonna see, get some views and get some plenty of subjective views, probably even get some objective evidence in here, um, if they're going off statistics or whatever the case may be too, um, and we'll get into it, you know, and you guys know the vibes, I always give my thoughts, you name it, um, this is gonna be just one video, so I'm not gonna do too many pauses unless I really necessarily need to speak upon something really quick, but you guys know the vibes, you know, I do my best, I try, but, you know, it is a reaction video, so I gotta make it, you know, of my own, so... Um, but we'll, let's get everything going, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. You mentioned that women are told that they're queens, they're princesses, they're special. Who do you think pushes that more, men or women? I think women. women. Because women influence. Like, my father never called me a princess. Like, I never understood this princess thing. My father called me meatball because I was a little fat so, little baby. And my entire yeah. life he used to say, Meaty, you're getting a little thick. Let's go to the so, gym. So if we blame like, society in a princess. way. So in a way... If we blame society, if women are the ones that pass on culture and women are the ones that are pushing these lies more than men, in a way, it, when we say society, we're really talking about women. Yeah. Because we, we run, it, it's, because women, this is, this is why society is the way it is. Because women buy. Women have the purchasing power in, in the world. Mm -hmm. We buy everything. Mm. So corporations, media have learned pander to women, their needs, their feelings, because men aren't buying things. More, men are more price conscious. Not all, but most men are not just spending frivolously. And so yeah, women, we will just I can, spend I can see on that. our feelings. We, I'm we, one of them. I mean, like, even if I was rich, whatever it can be, like, I would be, you know, I'd be still really smart with my money, be inconcise, you know, whatever. Women generally, they just, they just blow their fucking money. Like, they'll spend it on whatever, you know, you name it. They'll spend it just to feel better. They'll spend it for all kinds of reasons. You name it, bro. That's just... 
That's just a distinction between the two sexes, man. That's just how it goes. <laughs> You know, we spend it's by 90 percent, I think, the purchasing power. So media and culture has 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 set up things so that women feel good because they are the ones that are going to make them rich. I mean, that goes into a lot of layers and a lot of levels. But that's the reason why our society is the way it is and why women are not held accountable because it's not profitable. I just right. want to just uh, bring it back to Okay, the so we're talking about accountability. Because I'm trying to figure out where all this is going. Like, I'm like, hold up. Like, they're over here talking, whatever. But, like, what's the message here? You know what I mean? So, I'm assuming we're talking about accountability right now. Um, and why, and I'm assuming they're also going to tackle it further. But basically talk about why there isn't accountability for women. Why that is a problem. And how women can even profit off that notion of not having accountability. You know, so that's really interesting. And shit, that might even be the title of this video. Um, you know, our women hold accountable. You know what I mean? Like, so it's, that's interesting. I'm assuming that's what this is. I could be wrong, but, you know, let's keep going. Point is that, like, I, I don't know, like, if I ever get elected into any House or Congress or anything like that, I, there's got to be a way to make these false allegations illegal. Like, 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 there ha like, there has to be something. We, okay. Listen. Yeah. Most men. I already see where it's going. We'll, we'll listen. We'll keep going. I'm not going to pause that anymore, but. Yeah, this is about accountability. This is about women making false allegations or women, you know, pulling something out of nowhere and then it just completely destroys the guy, basically, in a sense. You know what I mean? Where if it was the other way around, vice versa, it wouldn't do anything to the woman. You know, instead, she would get like a, a slap on the hand or or it's okay, everything will be all right, whatever. And they get all the love for it, basically, or all the comfort. Well, man, you get fucking belittled, yelled, fucking bitched at, your career is done. You basically become a Johnny Depp. You know what I mean? You name it and it goes from there. So, um, but... Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I'm assuming that's what this is going for, so, for the most part. Have a friend that has had a friend, if not them, that's been falsely accused. Mm, most yeah. men know of a man who they have a child with the love. Clorox. Lovely young lady, the, chi the, the child's mother can utilize mm. some false accusation mm. to remove that child from that man's life. Shit, I got a story on my channel, me being falsely accused of some shit. Mm. We all, all of us, we all, but see, we won't want to talk about that. Mm. Oh, no. All of a sudden, we want to talk about... Uh, yeah, no, they'll, they'll never talk about fucking men being falsely accused or men being going through all this shit you didn't blah, blah. They don't want to, they don't care for it. They don't want to talk about it. They want to advocate the, the, you know, the, you know, the incompetence or the, the, the characteristics of you know no transparency whatsoever or how women are exploiting certain systems or manipulating etc you name it now mind you when i say woman guys i'm not referring to all i can't stand that you know what i mean so what's it called it's not all women but you know if we're talking about like maybe percentage or statistics or you know or just a certain percentage of women unfortunately it is a thing nowadays it is sad it is a sad reality and just like men men also do certain things to where they'll exploit and manipulate and etc and be able to just do better because of x y and z for their sex so it's the same thing works both ways but mainly nowadays as a thing it's way more stronger and more powerful with women as a tool um when it comes to many things that can branch off into just any type of real life topic you know um but that, that, that's 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 facts and i mean like Nobody ever talks about that. Not nah, nah. instead, what will be talked about is what the claim was, or the allegation, or this or this, or let's say it is legit, actually too. You know that that's getting blown up, whatever, blah blah, and that just paints a whole picture that oh, all men are just evil and bad, and all this and whatever, and blah blah. You know, and and it just builds up towards this whole other concept with you know the toxic feminists that are out there. Because yes, we'll put this out there too. There's a difference between. Uh, professional incredible feminists you know what I mean that clearly advocates for women and all kinds of great incredible positive natures you name it etc I'm all up for equality and rights for both sexes men and women um, but you do have this is for men too as well you have toxic men uh, groups and you have toxic feminist groups to where they really just try to you know stir the pod and start problems and paint all kinds of bullshit narratives you name it etc or easily offended or easily you know um not open-minded or have poor comprehension skills and stuff like that and it just leads to chaos you know what i mean that's for men and women and those type of individuals unfortunately they are pretty wild you know what i mean like <laughs> so um but you know it's it's interesting so that's a legit thing. I do agree with that. 
holding them accountable. All of a sudden, we want to talk about that. Can what? we talk about the DNA testing center? I yeah, had yeah, I had two that, guys. What he said right there in the end. But we'll, we'll sit here all day and talk about how to hold men accountable and how to really, really punish them. You know what I mean? But we don't give a fuck about anything else, you know? Colin, they work at DNA testing centers. One guy had to quit. One guy still works there. He told me 40% of the children are not the man's child. 40%. 40%. He said 40%. So cool, and Maury. it's wow. usually... Make DNA testing it's, it, and it's two, mandatory. It's two scenarios. It's where the woman... They, the, I agree with that. They bringing up some fire shit right now. I didn't expect this video to be so so good. So I didn't know that. I didn't know that statistic. Now I'm not gonna say it's 100 percent, you know, golden or whatever. You know, I haven't seen that statistic. For all I know, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? So I'm, I, I'm not gonna question. You know, I'm not gonna you know sit here, and, but I'm not gonna say the integrity in that uh, statistic is 100 percent pure. Um, so maybe it could be wrong, whatever. But let's say that statistic is correct. And another thing as well, I'm just gonna say this once. When it comes to any statistics, guys, just know that it doesn't mean necessarily it's 100% correct. It can still be right or wrong. There could be certain variables that could be into play. There can be certain contexts that can be into play. I mean, like, for instance, like, let's say you have the coronavirus or whatever, and, you know, they're over here doing, like, the death toll of people dying from it. You know, they, they were literally, there's people dying in fucking car accidents that technically had coronavirus, and they would count that along with the death toll. You know what I mean? So... When it comes to that statistics, it's it's really interesting. It could be a whole fucking you know crazy thing, whatever, you know. It, it depends, but for the most part, it can be a crucial effect of, of evidence, you know. And especially if you're just able to make it go towards the direction of your interpretation or whatever it's strictly for, obviously. Um, but you know, when it comes to certain things, sometimes you do need to be open minded and understand when it when a statistic could be blatantly just bullshit. You know what I mean? Or just not really necessarily the case whatsoever. Or mainly or maybe for this, but not what they're actually saying it for, you know. So putting that out there, advocating for both sides, the people that either have issues statistics or are all up for it. But anyways, um, but that's interesting. You know what I mean? Like if that's literally legit into where woman forty percent of fucking tests or like, or they're like, it's not, it's not even the fuck. That's fucked. That's really fucked. That's really fucked. And that just goes to show you, you know, we, we everyone will, will be real quick to judge men or say this or whatever, blah blah, and the whole nine yards, right? But you know, name a name, name a time where a, a man can be seen to do something as cruel as that. Like, like let's be real. Like, you know how fucked up in the head you have to be. To get knocked up by another man and then to have the audacity to make a whole life with your man and to make them be under this illusion their entire fucking life. Some like Sasuke and Itachi type shit where Sasuke thought Itachi was evil, you name it. And then the fucking truth comes through and their, their mind is just fucking broken from that shit, right? That's basically what you're dealing with here. Imagine... You know, being in a situation where you find out you're not the fucking father after, who knows, years. Or who knows, after, let's say, a life and death situation. You know, or let's say, you know, uh, the, you know, I don't know, something happens where a test is just needed, right? You know, or let's say you're donating blood or, some, or an organ, you know. I, I don't know, whatever it is. And it just somehow comes out, imagine. Imagine the toll that would take on a man mentally. And imagine the domino effect that that would even preclude to afterwards. And then, you know, then you wonder why you're hearing all this shit or, you know, a guy doing this or whatever, this and that, you know. No matter what, I won't ever excuse any actions that whether if a woman or a man does could be really bad or fucked, you know. Because at the end of the day, if it's bad, it's bad. It is what it is. You know, you can you can try to be like, have some maybe understanding for it, cool, whatever. But you can't make it, you can't really justify it to where like, oh, it's okay then. No, it's not. It's never okay. So, um... But, you know, it's it's interesting. And that's really fucked, in my opinion. And I do agree with what the other dude said, that there should be a law where there there should be a fucking DNA test hold at all times. You know what I mean? If you're having a baby or whatever, or you're about to, DNA test should be fucking done. It should be mandatory, bro. Or if you're about to get, if you give birth, do a fucking DNA test. You know, like, it's so dumb. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, there is a lot of men, a lot of men. I've heard, I've seen, okay, these things and heard these things. Okay, and even from, you know, my experience in a way to where, you know, men don't even want to question or even put that up on the table to be like, hey, is it okay if we get a paternity test or whatever, blah, blah, because immediately the woman can just get offended or they can be really hurt from that or it could just 
cause a whole fucking explosion of things, you know, and it could just end really negative or bad, right? So most men just, like, take it in the chin, like, oh, fuck it, whatever, and I'm just, you know, gonna, whatever, you name it. And it's sad because not all women, but a lot of women will actually use that and exploit that, that, that situ- those situations to where if the man does ask or question, which is completely understandable, right? Because if it was a woman asking, you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's, not, it's, it's fine, but if it's a guy asking, now it's a fucking problem, huh? You know, so, and the same thing for a guy, for any guy to feel offended or whatever, blah, blah, you know, to ask a question, you know, name, you name it, that's just dumb. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but either way, you know, like, it, it's, it's interesting because most women will really try to demonize someone for that or criminalize them and be like, hey, like, what the fuck, how dare you think I'm cheating or this or that or whatever, blah, blah, this is clearly your son and, and they'll try to emotionally manipulate or mentally manipulate you, you know, you, whatever, or men, etc., and then next thing you know, like, that's why they just don't question it. They don't do it, whatever. And then next thing you know, they find out way later to where it's all too late and all the damage is done. And you're <laughs> now you're really fucked, you know. So um, it's it's sad. And I'm going to just say this right now, guys. You know, I, I can't advocate for your relationships. I can't tell you what to do, unfortunately. Everybody is different. Human beings are extremely unique uh, people. Um, and it's, you know, if you're in a relationship... And you want to get a DNA test? Nowadays, I don't blame you. You know what I mean? Like, you just don't know, unfortunately. And this is becoming a trend. This is becoming a thing where apparently it's like, not not just this statistic that I heard of, but even other statistics where this is really becoming an issue. And it's scary. It's sad. You know? So it's like, do the test, man. Don't wait forever. Don't be stupid. Don't be stubborn. You know what I mean? I'm the, I'm the, like, unless you really, really know, bro. You know what I mean? Like, like if it's a spitting image of you, you know, like, because there's these times where you also just know, too. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just in your gut. It's just fucking right there in front of you. You know what I mean? So, but if it's questionable, or better yet, even if there's, if there's just a possible circumstance. Like, let's say you guys are having, like, a rough going. I mean, some shit was going off or whatever, and you guys had a break, and you guys are actually seeing the people. Uh, whatever the case may fucking be, I don't know. You know, be smart about it, dude. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. You know what I mean? Because that's something you you definitely have the right to know, and definitely have the right to figure out what you're gonna do from there too. You know, regardless of your feelings or how much you love the person. So, but let's keep going, and um, hopefully I don't have to pause again. These are really, really great, great shit to talk about, though. A person's getting a DNA test because the woman claims that is their child. Turns out it's not. The other one is where the parent is on the deathbed and makes a confession. Oh, or God. they need a health, they need a liver transplant, blood transfusion, and the blood type, there's no way that that can actually be the father. So then they find out that because of medical reasons, you mean that's not my father? Then the father hey, finds... Real. She, she... She hot as fuck. <laughs> out from that way. He said it took such a toll on him mm. that he could no longer do it because he would be sitting on the phone counseling the men and the grown children who these women falsely accuse. You, we see it on more. We see it on happen. paternity court. But Domino's new loaded tots are covered with milk. Domino's. But yet we say men need to be held accountable. Why are these women needing all these pater- Why does Maury exist with you are yeah. not the father? You, do, Why do you does know paternity what court exist if DNA if testing women are was so mandatory? Accountable? Do you know what would happen if DNA testing was mandatory? If they tested all women? You'd have enough. Calamity. I mean, my sister told me yeah. that this should be standard. <laughs> there'd, be, my sister- there'd be a lot of transparency, I'll tell you that. There'd, there'd be a, now you really be having some statistics and objective evidence and... Uh, <laughs> You know, they'd be getting some, there'd be a, a reputation that's kind of tainted in a way, you know? that That's the main reason, you know what I mean? Because obviously that would hurt the illusion that most, you know, people try to present that, you know, fucking, oh, women are all perfect, or they don't fucking cheat or do this or whatever, you know, blah, blah, yada, yada. Shit, if that was a thing, bro, their sex would look probably look really bad, statistically. You know what I mean? Really bad. So, let's be real, you know? And obviously, any negative reputation for it for either sex is not a good thing and that kind of sucks <laughs> and that would also affect anyone that you know is obviously connected through financial strings when it comes to sex and stuff you name it so males and females is what i'm saying not actual sex they told me the last that's week, why they won't do she it she said it should be a standard thing at the hospital Th- but that's why they won't do it to me it just makes I, sense I'm give doing, an epidural dna test i'm yeah. doing i'm doing a documentary um, on the court system here in the uk 
And I, um, I was interviewing this guy. He, he works for, it's called Fathers for Justice, and they help men get custody of their kids. Okay. And one thing I found out is in the UK, um, you are actually given a free, free counsel, which is a, a lawyer, basically, mm-hmm. if wow. you accuse your husband of abuse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what the women can do is they can accuse the guy of abuse and um, file a restraining order against him, even yeah. if he did nothing. And if he breaks that, he actually goes to jail. Yeah. And, and it can take one to two years to even get the kid back. So he could have a newborn and not see the kid for two years over a false a- allegation. Mm. And then, so he told okay, me this so story of this that guy. Really that, who, that's probably one of the scariest things, to be honest, as, as a man. Okay. Um, that's one of my fears, to be honest. If I, if, you know, if I have a, if a child with a woman, you know, now I'm going to, I'm going to say this before I even speak. This is a beautiful system for clearly for a woman that need it. I advocate for both sides. I don't think this is something that should be taken away. I do think there should be more transparency. I do think there should be better investigations. I do think, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? But life isn't fair. Equity is always an issue. Let's be real. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. You only get so much what you get, right? The problem, though, is there has been a lot of favoritism and a lot of bias for a woman, though, nowadays, from what I've been hearing, okay? Um, and from statistics, too. And... The sad reality is, you know, like, so for any of the women that is obviously legit cases, amen, good for them. They deserve to do a fucking restraining order. They deserve to get full custody, blah, blah, fuck that guy, right? So he can figure out his shit, maybe, who knows, maybe redemption arc, whatever, I don't know, then maybe he can be a part of it. But no, if he wants to be a psychopath and abusive and horrible and evil, you name it, fuck that guy, okay? So absolutely all up for that all day, every day. But here's where the problem comes, where this is becoming a, a constant trend and becoming a high percentage with a majority of women. Not all, but a majority. Okay, to where most women are making false claims or allegations or abusing and exploiting the, or the systems that we have for them. Okay, and basically, you know, saying, oh, he's an abuser, this and this, whatever, yada, yada, right? And next thing you know, things go, whatever. And then, then she can file a restraining order to her. Now he can't have anything to do with his kids. And we all know how much fathers can love your own, your own kids. You know, I mean? We all know how powerful a father's love is. Same thing for a mom, right? And that's fucked. Because, let's be real, when it comes to mental health for human beings, for women and men, that's something not to play around with. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's a whole other game, right? So, you know, imagine going through all that, which for most human beings, whether if you're a woman or a man, that could just make you fucking snap and do something really bad now when you're not even a bad person, period, because someone's abusing and exploiting the system and taking away something from you and there's no reason for it and it's just completely unfair and evil and cruel, but they can get away with it, you know what I mean? And cause this bullshit ass days of our lives drama, you know? Um, and the, the sad part about it too is... These things happen, and they're happening on a consistent basis, and it's just horrible. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, that's one of my worst fears, like, just to imagine of, like, out of nowhere, like, I'm just, I'm, I'm put on a restraining order, you know, I, I lose full custody out of nowhere, and now I'm being named all this horrible, vile shit or whatever, you know, you name it, and, like, I'm some evil entity, and now i got to deal with that, like, as a domino effect for the rest of my life, even though I did nothing wrong, whatever, blah, blah, whatever, you know? You know, or have to fucking fight by pulling teeth, whatever, and pull a fucking Johnny Depp feet, basically, right? To, to show the whole world that, hey, it wasn't me, you know, and, blah, blah. and then now, after all the damage is done, all the years lost, you name it, you name it, you know, everything with your kids, your reputation, work, whatever, it's ready too late, but at least now you, the truth was out, and then there you go, you were cleared innocent. Because the way it is, it, this is the easiest way to say it, men are guilty until proven innocent. It's not, you are innocent until proven guilty. It, it is, it's the total opposite. You know what I mean? Men are guilty until proven innocent, basically. that That's the, the mentality of how it is nowadays with how men are treated, basically. When it comes to child support, when it comes to marriages, and when it comes to other shit, right? And it's really fucked. It's, it's really fucked. It's scary, and it's really, really, really bad. Um, and that that's just horrible. For anybody that has to ever go through that, for anyone that has gone through that, I can't even imagine. That's like hell itself, basically. That That's a scary, scary thing because not only is your self-control now being tested, not only is your life being completely destroyed when you, there's no reason for it because the system is clearly failing you, etc. It's just crazy. But we're going to keep letting play, but that's just that's insane. I'm assuming they're going to go more in depth than that, too. The mom accused him of touching the kids, and it destroyed his social life. 
it destroyed everything. He Damn. got he got let go from his job. Yeah, see? And the man he called the guy and said, I'm gonna kill myself oh. and hung up and he said, Thank you for helping me. I'm gonna but I can't do this. I'm gonna kill myself and he shot himself and, in the head. And he, that's whoa, what happened. That's what happened in the DNA center. That's what a guy quit. And so are are the women So And there you go. And I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. You you have two type of men or women. Either they they lose they lose it and snap and do something crazy because you know they're just so angry and rightfully so. Or two, two. Because they're such a good person, because they're so pure hearted, and they're innocent, and they're being destroyed in all kinds of layers and levels, and having everything that they love and that makes them happy taken away from them because the other person's just evil and vindictive and spiteful or whatever, you know? Like, they say, fuck it. What do I have to live for now? Like, like I, and I, and I, and it's just, I don't, I don't ever, ever promote suicide or anything like that, whatever, et cetera, blah, blah, you name it. Don't ever do that. Always try to get help. Don't ever give up. Always push forward, you name it. But if you're at those certain points in life... It's completely understandable. You know what I mean? Like, because you don't really know what you would really do once you're even put into those situations. You can think all day, every day that you're not going to do anything or whatever. But you don't know until you're actually in that situation, right? And it's like, when I hear about things and whatever, and especially because of how I am too. If I went through those things, if I ever had to go through something that crazy, you know what I mean? Or whatever. And I was just completely fucked and it's completely un... un justified you know and just horrible and evil and whatever and the system's failing me whatever i would probably end up going that route too i'm not i'm not joking that would probably be too much for me and that's just so sad it's so depressing it's so emotional to be honest because imagine someone so innocent did nothing wrong whatever blah blah but because once again women can abuse these systems and exploit things okay now they're just fucked. They have nothing. They they have nothing. They have no hope. They have nothing. Everything that was there for them, you know. Obviously, for one, they lose the woman. Two, they they either lose their kids or whatever. And three, they, they lose their whole fucking life. Everything's destroyed. Everything, you know. Like, or they're even in jail for no, for, and they they shouldn't be, you know. So, like, it's it's just sad. It's really sad. And that right there, I'm gonna be honest with you. If someone kills himself. Okay, if someone does that, that should be clear as fucking day that, that, that you know, there's a, you know, there's a high, extremely high possibility, not definitely or concretely, but there's an extreme high possibility that that person was not a bad person, that other person is bullshitting. You know what I mean? Nine out of ten times. It is possible, though, for the other person just to kill up because they're just such a really, really bad person they, and they lost, basically, now, and they're fucked, and, you know, whatever, for unfortunately good reasons because yeah if you're gonna be a crazy psychotic person you deserve to go through that process right um but you know and then eventually they just end it whatever that's it they don't care you know and that does happen too i'm gonna put that out there but percentage wise it's the other way around you know so it's just you know that's that's heartbreaking that's fucking heartbreaking man held accountable for causing the men to do that over Little Caesar slices oh my God. Like All these pizza ads, bro. Are you are you companies struggling, bro? Do you, do you need do you need help or something? That's what happens when you know just to order a large fucking pizza, you're already spending forty or fifty fucking bucks. Okay, <laughs> you know, like, like I don't know. Maybe, maybe you should work in your prices. Maybe you should kind of you know I, I don't know, bro. But this advertising crap is insane. Over Holy a false shit. allegation. Well, no, because even if that turns out that that's false mm -hmm. on the man, that still sticks with him forever. Forever. Yes. Yeah. You're guilty. That's you're guilty until same proven innocent for men. Same thing as the essay. It's not guilty. It's, it's not it's innocent until false. proven guilty. Yeah. No. It's guilty until proven innocent. Exactly. You put it out. In the, look what just happened with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. That's right. Yeah. Oh, look what just happened with yeah. that ESPN. Don't get me started with Amber Heard. Analyst. Do not talk about Amber Heard. Yeah. What's his name? I don't even really watch sports like that. I forget his name, but I know you're talking about. He just, and because of a false allegation, Allegation. allegation, yeah. Because of that, he was not allowed to report at, at the at the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Off of off of that, now we su su suing That's him for like wild. tens of millions of dollars yeah, or something yeah. like that. It's absolutely preposterous Amber and absurd. Amber Heard. Amber Heard should have woke all women. Do you know about the Amber Heard case? Yeah. I okay, did. so Amber, Amber Heard, Heard, the Me Too, all of that. To this day, she is still lying through her teeth. And we had to. There are S A victims, S A counselors I'll be right back. Entertain you that, with that actually support. Um, you guys know they Amber support Heard. Johnny Depp 
because we could see it for ourselves. There are women. You may not be that way. Right. Yeah. So a lot of women, we internalize it and we'll say, well, my friends and the people I know. But there are so many women who are like Amber Heard, who to me is, is a complete for demon. Lying. And um, it, she it, took it, a shit on his bed. No, no, no. You're a nasty young woman. You're a nasty. What a camera at you. No. Nasty. But not only that, but what Gross. she did, she she um violated him. The things in her lives would ratchet up. And guess what happened in society? Just because she made the accusation, he his life was destroyed. It took him six years in a public trial in order to get it out there. If we that trial was not public, six. if that trial was not public, people would have said, oh, well, you know, the court system is against women and all that. But because we can see it, I knew Johnny was innocent early because I had saw some stuff with Amber Heard. I knew she was a narcissist just by the things she would do. But most people were fooled by her because she was pretty and had a smile and she just claimed victimhood. But once it came out, you like that. Lose Johnny it, baby. Depp, his case was a pivotal for all men and all women to finally see that yes, there are women and the, a large, a large number of women who are lying and the paternity court Maury, yep. if, why don't women, why don't you as a woman say correlate but and say is, those women on paternity court and Maury, who the father is not, it, there's been women who've been tested, 30 men, and they still have not found the father. This is, this is what we talk about, Damn. accountability, right? Because the modern woman would prefer to lie than take accountability. Hmm. So with the Amber Heard, Johnny Depp case, she preferred to lie than to be seen. Because I've always said that women have a perception, right, that they want to keep up. They yeah, want to be absolutely. seen a certain way. Yeah. Okay? And so what it is is that for women, image is all of is everything, right? And so with Amber Heard, she um, she didn't want her image to be destroyed. With the women that go on the Maury show, and they, I'm telling you, they go crazy. He should have been doing this before the DNA test comes <laughs> out, by the way. They're going crazy because what? They're trying to keep an image, mm. right? The problem is, the reason why MTR was talking about, okay, DNA tests should be mandatory. The reason why they won't do it is because women's image would be destroyed. Yeah. Mm. Women want an Speaking image in this society and their image is going to be destroyed. So what they would prefer to do is lie because there are many people, most people believe that women are quite innocent, believe that they're, one's always a they're, they're the ones that are always a victim, right? Yeah, what will it. happen is their image will be destroyed and they'll be seen for who they are and they don't want it. Maybe and, that's and, and what needs to thing. happen here's to thing. break the system. No, 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 I'm going to make one point. I'm going to make, make one point. I'm going to make one point. hear what she has what, to what, say. One of the things that I learned in doing content in this space is like when I think about like the reason that feminism is where it is right now and the ideals as what it is is that it's all a power play. It's all about power. It is a power play too. beginning of it. Who doesn't like power? Who doesn't like power? But hey, let's be real. Both sexes do that though. Both sexes fucking be abusing power and doing power plays and trying to do crazy shit. And that's another thing too, guys. I'm, I'm going to say this right now. Both sexes are guilty of so many things. You know what I mean? Both sexes, you know, do bad X, Y, and Z. Like, you know, I'm, I'm going to say this to be f fair for both sides as well. Th we There's billions of fucking humans in this planet. As a matter of fact, I, I will look that up right now for you. How many humans... Uh, what's the population... Population of humans. <laughs> There's 8 billion people. 8 billion people on this fucking planet. That's a lot of people, right? So, you have billions of guys that are bad. You have billions of women that are bad. You have billions of guys that are good. You have billions of women that are good. That's all you're dealing with, bro. It's as simple as that. You know what I mean? Like, So, it's, it's very, very interesting. It's very, very, very interesting, um, you know, and it's just it's, it's as simple as that. But that, that's they're, they're kind of spitting though with that, you know what I mean? But they, then again, you could say for both sexes, but you know, maybe when it comes to like percentage or majority, you know, like it's mainly with women, you know, but that's what they're probably advocating for. But you know, it's it's interesting. And at the end of it, it's about power. Why would you consistently want to be a victim? To act like you are a victim in a society and talk about this patriarchy and talk yeah, about that is true. this oppression when you that is true there is a big percentage okay okay mind, mind you once again not a woman but there's a big percentage of women that will play the victim card all fucking day every day 
They'll just thrive on that shit, bro. They'll fucking just go with that shit forever and ever. Be either making up shit or exaggerating. Whatever the case may be, you name it. And it's all about power plays. It's all about money. It's all about control and all this bullshit. So. Freeus. Hmm. Cleanness. Lack of poverty. Hmm. Lack of homelessness. Damn. Lack of, lack of, and the most abundant version of that society that has ever existed in the history of mankind today what rights do you not have that i have you like that but bro. that's what we've convinced them today as if it actually exists so yeah. they think they could just get away with the privilege of not being accountable because of all the structures that are put into place one thing you guys mentioned before earlier was do. about maury Think about the concept of more. This is why so many women today are incapable of understanding the word accountability when they look at the different structures within our society today. The concept of more is she can test six to ten men, but she'll never get booed. Ever. She gets clapped. She can come out up on stage mm -hmm. and never get booed, but they'll boo all six of the guys, right, yeah. even if they were never the father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll boo every last one of them. Yeah. You, as a young boy, I'm sitting here watching this shit like, damn, men ain't shit. Mm, men yeah. ain't shit. And that's the shit that I was looking at the content. Men ain't shit. Because, mm. of course, pre order Diablo 4 on Xbox. Yeah, I'm good, buddy. I don't even care about that fucking game. Maybe they had the know. dudes on the side saying, boo, yeah. or yay, the, if the woman came out. So it goes deep. It, it goes so deep but at what we've been conditioned to believe in. But you know, but that's why. They, they, well, yeah. Hold up. That's why there's so many women yeah. today that are just incapable of seeing behind the trees. They just don't see it. They, they literally just don't see it. They blind to it. But they were conditioned to be blind to it. Because it know, makes them a better consumer. So, But you know what, MT, I'm sorry to cut you, right? But you know what happens when they do get found out to be lying? They get consoled. Yep. Oh, they run yep. off and scream. Don't worry. They run off and scream. I got so many stories them. about this. And Say everyone's like, oh, out. it's okay. So what, you, what it is is that there's no accountability. <laughs> Me and MTR know that right, if a guy does something and it's wrong and it goes tits up, there's an accountability there, right? That's so there's accountability true, right there. Women get consoled. They get muddled, cuddled. They get told that it's okay. Don't worry about it. So then she what, does what? She goes and does it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she never learned the lesson. There was no real consequence. Exactly. If, if, if I yeah, she's Sold by men and women. It men and women. Well, exactly. There, there's always a bailout. I mean, even the church. I mean, it it, it tells men to date born again virgins. Fuck okay. no, Can I say? <laughs> look, look, but can I say this on Maury? Even if you watch it, the women will run. They will go. It, automatically, the woman is cheered when he comes out, and all these men are booed. She will run off Bruh. the show, screaming and crying, going crazy. And Maury will chastise the man. That child still needs a father. She didn't mean it. You know, you should still her. be nice oh, to her. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Just, but if the man is like, <laughs> but if the man that's, says, that's dead child, ass. I'm like, guys, gonna, that, that's, that's dead ass. Like, that's just how it goes, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's just one of them things. Uh, this is how it goes for women. You know what I mean? They're always consulted, comforted, you name it. Man, that shit, nobody gives a fuck, bro. <laughs> it's like, suck it up, buttercup, or toughen up, you know, whatever, you know, or you just get dogged, you know? Yeah. And it's going to be that. What What do you think about that? Like all of this that we've said. We've said a uh, lot. I'm I, sorry. I was gonna, you, you had a thought earlier. <laughs> go I'm just going to let you oh, go, go really quick. My thought was, so what's the solution, right? Like, Men talk about we want to be forward focusing, we want to reach a goal, we want to end the solution, right? And so back to the proposal earlier, it's the five to ten percent of men, right? We've all agreed that men should be leading, right? But men have taken a passive seat to allow women to the the the, plat, the platform has switched. Women are being men. We're out here in women, the streets and we're doing what we do were doing. Be? Women who are yes, women, well, please lead. We, 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 women. Please lead. We, we, we chose to be, but we chose to do that. We, we chose, chose to do so. So wh yeah, whose fault is it, what? the men or the person making the choice? We made the choice to sleep around. Well, let's we're, we're, let's be clear, though. Where did that come from? We're we're in, because back in the day when men control. were leading? We're in control of sex. They're in control of relationships. Okay, so but if, where did that come from? It came from a lack of fathers sitting their daughters down. To her point, she brought up a very good point. And I, I guarantee you, but if why? this 80% no, no, no. of women... So, I'm a little confused with what's happening at this exact moment. I don't know if I'll... I don't know. I'm a little confused, but... Uh, one thing I got out of that was woman control sex, men control the relationship. I don't know about that one, Chief. Uh, both control the relationship and 
both can control sex. <laughs> now, if you want to say, like, I don't know, fucking percentage-wise, you know, whatever, who really controls the sex, obviously it would be the woman. But I'm just saying, technically, in a moral ground, both have the ability to control sex. You know what I mean? So, um, that's just, that's just, both have that. You know what I mean? Like, there's plenty of guys that fucking would, just don't want to have sex. They just, for whatever weird reason, don't have a high sex drive. Um, you know what I mean? And the woman would get fucking either pissed about it or maybe understanding and you got women that fucking uh, don't have a high sex drive, don't want really to do it, whatever, and the, the guy does, and it's just the other way around. It happens all the fucking time, you know what I mean? So, um, so you have all that, whatever, blah, blah, But either way, like, th that's a little weird. So I don't know about that one, but everything else, like, I'm not, I'm assuming they're going to explain or get to it, but I'm not catching what they're referring to right now. Uh, this doesn't make sense. Why? Head why? men. What do you mean why? But why? Because there's incentive structures in place that allow women to take the father up out of the home with no consequence. And oh, okay. I, it's back to the whole how women can control and... Okay. Okay, I'm kind of seeing what's happening here. Okay. Women and women... I don't understand how that correlates and connects to what they were saying before, like the whole fucking thing and that I just talked about. Or do, absolutely. And women in, in the last hundred years or absolutely. since the 60s. Yeah. So, again, it, it, women chose to do that. We didn't have to take those structures up. Abs okay, so... We kind of were forced to. That's another. No, we were not, ma'am. No, 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 no. We, we were. were we were not forced to. We were not you weren't going to get a check if your husband was in the because, house because, and you had no. to provide for him no, and the kids. No, no, we absolutely no, were forced no, 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 to no, take no, no, the no. government. That's a false narrative. That's a false narrative. First, paint no, no, me no. the real one. Oh no, shit! I will. I will. Back she it up. said, "Paint me a real so one." We, Here we go. Oh shit! <laughs> we got two females about to go and debate right now. Shit. Well, let's hey, let's let's hear them out. Let's hear both sides. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's real deal. Are were women forced? Or were they not? Let's see. We go back into this. It is is third wave feminism that actually caused this. And it, we talked about it earlier. I was talking third to Pearl wave about feminism. What the fuck is that? I'm sorry, I'm ignorant, but I never heard of that. About Cosmopolitan or Magazine and how they actually, there were, it made money to create in the black family structure specifically, because this is this is where the problem really lies yeah. in, 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 in the world, in, in the U.S., I will say. I don't know. Accept more types of payments with PayPal and reach customers online, in store, and on the go. Sounds great, PayPal, but you know, I really I don't, don't know how want it to. is in the UK. Um, but, but our family structure, they, they purposely destroyed our family structure um, because it made them money. Um, we can go into even government welfare, government cheese. Uh, there was a surplus of farmers having cows. They needed to get, they needed to make money. Government grants and able to, somebody needed to get this, this cheese. So to get this milk, get the food that they had a surplus in, or it would go rotten and these farmers would not make money. This is layered upon layers of layers that were systematic so Absolutely. to say we did not have a choice we chose we chose greed we chose a bag over a man we chose uh -huh. to not have our children we would rather have a bunch of money than have our children have a father in the home I so we're not saying no one show, no one no 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 you have to know the history this is I'm proven speaking facts. history no men this is were not facts. able to work and provide for their that's families we false. were forced to take that's the false. government check that's false they couldn't stay in that's the house false. if they were there that's false. False. Then how were they going to feed the That's children? And where was the children from? were fed? Women were greedy because they it was coming to from be, the government. No, no, no. Let's but get if the husband clear. was home, he black wouldn't be employed. Women, black women so wanted to be like white women in the Cosmopolitan magazine. The the woman who ran, who started Cosmopolitan magazine, the main editor. She is now a Catholic, and she repented from what she did. She True. said we were teaching women because we wanted all women to feel yep. that we had a gripe with white I did men. A and so yep. yeah, this is this is public knowledge. You look mm -hmm. it up on YouTube. She talked, she talked about about it. To, yes, yeah. absolutely. They they wanted black women to also be part of their movement and other races because it wasn't enough. The black woman and the black man had to stay together in the U.S. because it was the only way for us to overcome. What yeah. they did was with Cosmo, they lied. These were women that would say, you know what? There's a single woman moved to New York. She's sleeping with different men. She has her life. She has her own money, her education. She's getting these jobs. These women were promoting promiscuity and living a certain lifestyle mm. when they were all married. They were all lying and making 
breaking up these people because it was supposed to be a fantasy magazine. Mm-hmm. But women were taken as gospel Seriously. and real. Talk and so them. what happened is black women saw the white woman as, as, as pinnacle because we're not going into colorism and all that. That's not what this show is about. But we saw the white woman as what to strive for as black women. We're saying these white women are free. These white women are mm. independent. These white women don't need no man. I don't need mine. He's not doing enough. He's not good enough as a black man when our entire lives, how we came out of everything we did in the U.S. was through the black man and black woman coming together. So we allowed these women and these corporations who wanted to make money off of our backs and they knew that we had a a, 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 a insecurity (laughs) about being... (laughs) Watch out me for that. That was a hell of a stutter. <laughs> what happened there, bro? <laughs> Dark about being black, and we wanted to strive to the higher societies because white women were seen as the highest. So we think we want to be like white women, get our education, do this, do that. When those women were lying, even to other white women, they were hey, lying that, to hey, us as black that's women. When you know, that white dude right there, he ain't even getting an offended or nothing. You know what I mean? Like nobody. You know, even Pearl, she's white. I mean, fucking, because they, they know she's spitting right now, bro. Um, I, I'm, I'm hoping they let the other one talk too, because I want to hear her side and everything, blah blah. But so far, this sounds legit. You know, I'm not, I'm not too sure what they're exactly referring to, but they they were citing some things before. Apparently, it's all documented YouTube videos. You know, people testimonies. Excuse me, you name it. So I'm assuming it's 100 percent legit, but you know. So then the government stepped in. There's a whole documentaries about this okay, on yeah, Black yeah, history, yeah. and I mean, Black historians will not refute this. This is what we all know okay. as gospel so legit, in our yeah. communities. So what you're saying right here is Black children when we were being provided for, but it wasn't enough. We wanted to be like white women, and we had greed in our eyes. We had we had envy in our eyes, and we're like, be I like don't know, Black man, I can do better. I can do bad all by myself and so our children it's a false narrative to say if our children were not eating our children were eating we want it better and yeah because the idea it's it's a money wait wait so the idea that it's a money thing and that like women had to take the government assistant because the men weren't taking enough money or weren't making enough money is that what you're saying so I think it's great that we can now, in our liberated sense, and now that we mm-hmm. have the knowledge and understand it, right, mm-hmm. we can definitely look back, vision is 2020, right, no. and say we would do stuff different. Mm-hmm. In that time, that was the narrative so, and the picture so, that no, was painted. So is, that, is that what you're saying? That is that what I'm men, saying, because that, that men, was... Wait, I'm just... Okay, I just want to... Sorry. That you, you're saying the men weren't making enough money, so the women had to take the government assistance. Yes. So, but even... What? Th- even, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, my guys, God. Wait, wait. Sorry, go so ahead, So even, even, even then, they had a higher standard oh, of living than most... I don't see the problem. Um, there is, to this day, and back then, plenty of people to where, yeah, a guy wasn't making enough, especially if you were a black male, and the woman had to go to government assistance. Absolutely. What What the fuck? Huh? <laughs> How is that? Where's the correlation of that? I'm, I'm a little lost there, but whatever. I'm just going to let him keep going. I'm, I'm confused in that one. That one I'm not following through. That doesn't make sense. There's plenty of people that have actually dead ass been in those situations, so... Um, I know people like close to me that have been in that situation. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? People did in all of human history. So how is it an excuse when you're living better than most people did in all of human history? Okay, so I'm speaking specifically for the black families, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And so back then, mm-hmm. when men were living at home, mm-hmm. they were not able to be employable, right? And so they would leave. They women. Wait, why weren't they employable? Because they, to her point, she, everything she said is 100% mm-hmm. factual, right? Mm-hmm. And if we knew that that was a narrative then, of course we wouldn't have fallen for it, right? Mm-hmm. But because they were trying to divide the black family, mm-hmm. they would say men to provide for your family or things like that. We don't want you to be there because we know that you're a leader and the impact of that. So how can we divide that? Mm -hmm. We're going to give you good qualifying jobs if you're in the home. Mm -hmm. But then the woman, how can I provide and how can I do this Mm -hmm. if he's not in the home? Mm -hmm. They would take the government. We all know it's a scam now. Absolutely. But back in the day, that was the reality. To get a good paying job, to try to pay for your family. At Domino's, now you can carry out a one-topping pizza with any of our five press types for only $7.99. And you can order any way you want to online. Pizza ads, pizza ads, pizza ads. Being employable, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. You thought you had to not live in the household. Mm-hmm. So you agree? Yeah. I, I'm so, I, I wasn't that I wasn't agreeing. Okay, I couldn't so elaborate she agrees. It, right? I, and and I, everything she said was 100% factual, so, so right? Then, but, but, but listen, though, if you agree, then why would they take that solution? 
Because it's almost as if Cosmo created this fantasy, but the black women attached themselves to that fantasy Don't we do to it today, overthrow though? the patriarchy. We still do it today. But black men were never a part of the patriarchy. But we're so still what doing were y'all trying today? to be independent from? Listen, I'm not saying because it was right. I can't, can't go sell. back then and speak so to then their hold mindset. Them, so then hold them accountable. I agree with that. I've always said we should oh, hold women okay. accountable this evening, right? But today, we're still doing the same narrative, right? We're still selling city girls and being out here and being flown out. We're still selling it. Right, 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 and right, women right, are so still I, buying I, it. I, yes, I have a they question. Love it. Who's, whose fault is it for buying it? Exactly. I would challenge one thing that you said when you say that if we all agree that there's 80% of women that are out here running the streets and then there's a 5 to 10% of men that are taking advantage of that, I reject the idea that the focus should be on the small percentage of men that are running the streets when we have an overabundance of women that are not acting accordingly. Mm. I would say let's at least get that down to five to ten percent of women are running the streets <laughs> five to ten percent of men are running the streets and then look at them equally but as long as we have the scale so tipped that women are allowing this i say let's clean our own house first before we point the finger Amen. yeah but that's why that's, 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 that's why i said that's you come it. back to the the one percent because we understand and we talk about it all this uh, all the time on the show women make 80 percent of consumer buying decisions Right, so that means you can sell anything to women. Who are the people in power that know this? Because I'm not in power and I know this. <laughs> so the people that are in power know this. Everything is sold to women. They sell them feminism. Now they sell them city girls. They can sell them. I don't know. They can sell them juice tomorrow. I don't know. Whatever it is, women can be sold stuff. So the so like I said, the point of of of, I guess my conclusion, is that women are not supposed to lead. Right, they're not supposed. Men are supposed to lead the society, and men are supposed to start selling things to men. <laughs> they won't get as much money, but they're going to have to start selling things to men, which is why podcasts like this exist. We know that the podcast like yours, Pearl, is not in the majority of podcasts, and many people don't listen to it. You have a you have a niche because you because your audience is probably mostly men. Men don't buy like women buy. They're not gonna they're not gonna be on the, they're not gonna be the shade barrel shade barrel crew or whatever. It's so easy to sell to women. We need to yeah. stop selling to women, and then. I, I'm I don't deep. think that's the solution. I'm, 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 I might get deep, but I think what we need you? to start separating ourselves what from certain think? types of people. Okay, go ahead. Break the system, right? Let's no, certain abort. types no, of so, people. But listen, right? Women are the problem. I 100% agree with you, Maggie, right? I wasn't saying don't focus on that 80% of women. We, but it's a balancing factor. You can't just focus. That's extremity, right? When you go to one side and you focus heavy, it doesn't. It but, ends up going back do up. We, we don't how balance do, how, it out. Why do we balance it when the problem is unbalanced? Because unfortunately, so why, like why? Why would we? Why would we balance it when? women are causing most of the problems because it's scientific right and just nature right when you're balancing things Wait, out it's scientific and it's neat i don't i'm, I'm okay go ahead go ahead the balancing beam right if you mm -hmm. go to one extremity the other one's gonna go up mm -hmm. so just in approaching we have to be careful to balance no. it out no, oh, and it's, no, no, it's, it's just how it works Wait, naturally. Guys, 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 let, let her go ahead go ahead that's just how it works naturally right I, and I, honestly how do we get here I, I, so i'm just not understanding what you're saying with the beam so okay. how how does us like talking about women hey women we need to we need to step it up and then the women will always come in and say well but don't forget about the men and we're like hey you know what we can deal with that when we when we get the women because this is a way bigger problem than the men why why is that an issue like so how I, does that how does that make the problem bigger okay they're, they're both right in a I sense agree. i hear what she's saying like so all she's saying is and this could be for either way vice versa whatever you know um like if you focus mainly on the woman and hyper focus whatever you know, that can allow all the bad men to start thriving off that or exploit that. And then now they have the upscale and it's not balanced, period. You know what I mean? So as long as we're still focusing on men, you know what I mean? But doing more focus on the woman, then everything will be great. I think that's all she's trying to say. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I mean, if we just purely hyper focus on woman alone, you know what I mean? Then sure, yeah, we'll deliver results pretty fast, whatever, blah, blah. But that there is a risk where the men can now be taken over in that lead or higher and you know now you have problems with our sex you know so i get what she's saying but at the same time i get what they're saying but it's that's just that's that's contentious you know we should definitely focus on the women they mm -hmm. need to take accountability i'm not no I, I know but i'm saying what what about that makes when we get hyper bigger? focus on that and we solely focus mm -hmm. on that it causes a chain reaction of the opposite to then happen it may that's just tough on acne 
but gentle on your skin. Curology's Acne Cleanser, now at Target. How, how, that's just it's a chain reaction that's that's how do we get there how? we started focusing on like men having all Wait, the how rights does it, and... how does it make a chain reaction so i'm just i'm just i want to because this is very broad and a lot of times like as women we say things that are so broad that they don't like mean anything gotcha. and so and so if, if i'm saying hey women step it up let's do better okay with this is a problem that's a problem that's a problem that's a problem that's a problem we could say okay the men have this one problem we have five why don't we tackle one two three four but, exactly but, what how does that make problem over here bigger so if we have a balancing beam mm -hmm. they have one we have five right right and so we're trying to take are we taking five away from here just to get it to one and one so it can be balanced i mean maybe or are we trying to just take one and like five away and then he goes over here, right? But technically, right. Right. so so then it would be some female what That's what I'm saying. Like even, even if we use the balancing beam, right? And like then this would be heavier than the men's problem. The only way to balance it out is to focus on the heavier problem exactly. first. Exactly. And I would, even with this analogy, like that doesn't. I would argue. I think that's feelings based. We might yeah. be surprised that what we want the men to change may actually self-correct if women started acting differently. Mm. Men are going to holler. Men are going to try. <laughs> men are going to shoot their shot. But if we don't allow someone to have access without being worthy of it, then they'll either go to someone that will allow it. Mm. But if the next girl says, you know what? No, these are my standards. They'll go on to the next person. And if the next girl says, these are my standards, men will change their approach based on the results that they get. But mm -hmm. we keep giving it away so easily, there's no incentive for a man to change. So I would argue we focus on the 80%, let's get our house in order, and we may look up and see there's always going to be that small amount mm -hmm. of people who are going to try and, you know, get whatever they can for free. But I think men would definitely step them up. Step up. I think we um, we should give them more credit. Meg, I'm you're gonna, a quiet. I, as all right, all right, all right. What's it called? All right, all right. W video. I like it. Goated. Pretty solid. Shit. If you guys don't know her, make sure to hit the sub button for her. Give her all the love and support. You already know. You name it. What's it called? Uh, and hey, you know, at the end of the day, guys, that's just what you got, man. You know, I'm like, and I want to do that reaction video because for one, I, heard, I was recommended. I heard it's pretty good. And it was. It was fucking solid. Um, you know, but... I hope that opened some eyes for some people. I hope that opened up some different perspectives for people. Um, all of it's contentious. All of it's subjective, obviously. You name it. And there could be a certain amount of objective objectivity with it and whatnot. You know, whether if you're using statistics, percentages, whatever. But um, but I hope I hope it helped. I really do hope it helped and it kind of paint. You know, uh, I guess kind of show you guys because once again, I'm just gonna shut down for any like fucking. I forgot what the word is. It's the opposite of misogynist, but for the woman that just purely hate men or whatever you name it, um, you know, or, or for even or even for men that even paint this notion too, that you know all men are evil or bad or whatever this and that or yada yada or we need to just only focus accountability with them and all this bullshit whatever. That's just blatantly horseshit, guys. Don't 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 fall for that crap. You know what I mean? Use your brain. Use your fucking brain. There's eight billion people on this planet okay eight billion people okay <laughs> like four billion could be uh good the other four billion could be bad vice versa for the other sex you know what i mean like come on man just use your fucking brain you know like and at the end of the day you know like it's just when it comes to the when it comes to equity okay and accountability for either men or women it is unbalanced. It is unjust. It is unfair. It is bullshit. And it is in favor of women nowadays. It is. It's just the facts. You know what I mean? Like, we, we can't we can't bullshit with that. You know what I mean? But at the same time, at the same time, let's also not branch away from some truth and reality when it comes to men too. There are a lot of bad men. There are a lot of, you know, you name it, etc. Not going to start listing uh, categories of the bad and evil shit. But, you know, like, there are. Plenty of it. You know what the fuck? It ha you, you hear about it all the time, you know? Whether if it's legit or not, I don't know. But you hear about it, you know? And bottom line is, you know, there are bad men out there. You know what I mean? So once again, when it does come to accountability, it is important for that to be enforced. Especially when it is definitely necessary and, and to deem so, you know? Um, and there are also, a lot of people don't, you know, because you don't, you know, hear about this either. But there's a lot of bad women too. There's a lot of crazy women out there. 
Okay, so like I said, it just it goes for both sides, you name it, etc. But I feel like just nowadays, like people, like there's just so much negativity and so much craziness when it comes to just men for some reason, or or let's say there's somebody that's trying to you know gas up masculinity in a positive sense or to embrace men's nature and how they should you know either be or you know or just to help with their mental health, whatever. A lot of people are like are shitting on that. A lot of women are just like hating that or whatever or this or that or so there's just so much craziness out there and it's it's sad it's sad that we can't just get along can't just communicate professionally and respectfully and just understand each other's subjective views you know or just be real with yourself for once and really analyze all the objective evidence that are just blatant facts and statistics or whatever um and that we can't just come to a middle ground or compromise or improvise or figure out a, some way or or, 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 or you know, plan to support the most important notion, equality, when it comes to both sexes. It's not about one or the other having more control and more power or whatever this and that, yada, yada. That's bullshit. That's not what the focus should be. It should be about both sexes being equal in their own senses and both sexes being positive in their own senses, and no sex being able to exploit or control more than the other, etc., etc., etc. It's as simple as that. But unfortunately, I don't know what the fucking issue is. I don't know what the the wrong incentives are, or what components of you know human nature or tendencies that humans have to where why this has continued to be enabled or advocated or done, and etc. and just the opposite into where it's just getting worse and worse or whatever. It's sad. It really is. You know, so be careful out there, guys, men and women. Um, and just keep your eyes open, please. You know what I mean? Don't be stubborn. Don't be a numb nut. And, uh, you know, as always, please don't be an extreme toxic feminist. Please don't be an extreme toxic man or misogynist. Just don't fucking do it, man. Grow the fuck up. You know, grow the fuck up. So... But either way, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will be releasing this video eventually. And when you guys see it, as always, make sure you leave a like. Comment your thoughts down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this and everything. Um, subscribe for more content. Subscribe to the other channel. If you guys love videos like this and want to vibe with it a lot more, hit, hit the like button. Comment. Let me know you like it. Subscribe. You know what I mean? I, I'm not going to stick to certain you know categories of, of videos or or content if you guys aren't giving me, you know, enough attention for it to where you clearly want more of it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm here to please you guys. There's only so much I can do for you, you know? So, um, if you really like these videos and fuck with it, give all the support for it, give all the love, and I'll definitely continue and get some more IRL um, videos in and, you know, and whatnot and all kinds of stuff. And uh, we'll definitely, definitely have to probably do a lot more reactions to pearly things because she has some pretty good stuff so far. I'm loving it. You know, eventually there probably eventually will be points where I'll blatantly just not agree at all or whatever you name it. But for the most part, she's been pretty solid, man. She's been pretty fucking solid. So um, the one, the, her reaction to Morgan Pierce, you know, that was great. This was great. Um, we're going to be doing a re a, another reaction video soon with her. It's it's a big, it's a long video, though. It's like three hours. So that's going to be have to be several parts. But um, But apparently I think she interviewed Andrew Tate. And there's like some other females on there as well. Um, maybe another guy, I don't know. But um, but I heard it was really, really, really interesting. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Anyways, but as always, guys, hope you enjoyed. See you next video. Peace.